ranking the best Sugar Rush cards in Madden 24. We are back here with another promo reveal. Today we got Sugar Rush. Now this is going to be technically a three part release, but part three is just the egg opening. So really it's like a two parter with actual cards, but we're gonna go ahead and get it started right here with the 95 overalls. The first one we got is Trent McDuffie. I believe he is level 15 in the field pass. I might be wrong on that, but you do get him through the field pass of Sugar Rush. Now this is a okay card in my opinion. Definitely better if you run a man based defense and his tier five bucket, he can get lurk art or he can also get medium route KO for zero AP. Then it was short route and deep route for one. He would just be a zero AP lurk artist slot, uh, what's called corner for me, but 96 speed, 97 acceleration, good man, good zone, good press, like all hits 90s, 90 play rec as well. For me, I think he's a good card. For me, I am going to put him in this tier. Now this is something that I personally don't get, okay? So they dropped 95 overalls. Now, I guess you could say the main purpose of 95 overalls is to go into like the champions to make 98s, but I really think they should start giving these cards discounted ability reason why I'm saying that is these are the same overall as Super Bowl pass and present cards and they're going to be around the same coins anyway because of like their base training value so why not give Luke Kadecki maybe even like these 95s a zero AP secure pro to help out like some no money spent people that maybe can't afford or don't have a lighted up token for Andrew Whitworth or can't afford the top end options in the game I think it would make the game a lot more enjoyable for a bunch of different people just so we get some good value cards that's my one complaint on the 95 again like didn't mention any discount abilities but also his pass block finesse is really really low a uh, good run blocker but the pass blocking really isn't there at this point i just think the balance of that is just really really bad like there's really not a great point to run him even makai beckton i think he was a little bit more balanced and he was a 92 overall in this promo now after that we get sam hubbard though with 88 speed 91 acceleration great block shed power moves finesse moves the stats from a stat standpoint damn near top end stat what does he not have the abilities so in my opinion that's just what makes him a like okay card in this game no abilities or anything Thing. so for me going to be in the mid tier we also get Rashawn Slater that once again from a stat same point 94 pass block power 95 pass block finesse 94 run block extremely balanced looks like a great card from a stat standpoint but what doesn't he get secure protector what you're playing online right like Mata Beast is gonna run through him Mr. Monday Night gonna run through him you know what I'm saying so for me I'm just gonna put him in the mid tier as well we also get 95 Rory Lopez this card just there's no way he's a 95 overall the speed and acceleration actually isn't terrible for a defensive tackle but look at this pass rush 79 power moves 71 finesse moves that right there is terrible this is probably the worst card that dropped today he is going in the trash tier all right and right after that we get nelson Aglor with 95 speed does not hit 90 short route running which does kind of suck especially if you play all pro now if you're on Ma on all madden this won't matter because all the thresholds are 85 but i mean again the the things he's lacking is just discount ability so for me i'm gonna say Aglor is again in this mid tier we also got Deshaun elliott dolphins great 95 speed 94 acceleration 97 zone coverage a little bit lower man but again same exact thing good from a stat standpoint but but lacking the discount abilities. And we also got Isaiah McKenzie. That is 97 speed. That's great. 90s across the board for route running. Like the speed a lot. He is a little bit shorter, but again, just doesn't get anything for discount for me. There's a lot of people that are even cheaper than him that I'd rather run because of that. That is why I'm putting all these cards in the mid tier. Like these cards are basically great stats, no abilities. And very similar thing to the last 95 right here with 95 speed, 96 acceleration, 95 man, 95 zone, 96 press on Tyson Campbell. Again, game is so much about abilities. It's not even funny. That's why these cards are mid for me. All right, and now after that, we got Andrew Thomas. That is 98 strength, 98 pass block power, 97 pass block finesse, 97 run block. I think this right here is an end game left tackle. What he can get for zero, he can get secure protector and the combo of linchpin for zero AP. So in my opinion, that is a step above the current lighted up Andrew Whitworth. So for me, he is the new best left tackle in the game for sure. For me, Andrew Thomas is going to go ahead and make this best of position. Now, this might be a little bit crazy. Christian Barmore is the best card to drop today. I did not have that on my bingo list today that i thought christian barmore was going to be the best card that dropped but uh 90 speed 90 acceleration 99 block shed 91 power moves 96 finesse moves so the stats are all really really good how he really separates himself is from an ability standpoint so in his tier 5 bucket i believe he gets no outsiders for zero there so that's a great run stopping ability but also in his tier 6 first player in the game to get inside stuff for zero so inside stuff no outsiders zero ap that right there i think he should be on everyone's team just because of that value you 
and I think he is the best champion that dropped today. He is going best of position for me for sure. Now, after that, we got Nico Collins. Now, this is a card, six foot four, so great height, 98 speed. That's amazing. Good short, good medium, good deep route running. Hits all the threshold, 90 for every single one, right? So ability wise, he isn't crazy. Like he gets slot apprentice for zero. So he gets a pretty good zero AP ability. Is he a top five receiver in the game? And I think receiver is super, super tough because you got guys like the lit X factors yak him up, I think is really annoying to deal with. Like Michael Irvin, we got the yak Andre Reed now, uh, even Darius Hayward base. You could get three of them, right? Then we also still got Calvin with double meat. I think that's kind of annoying to deal with. Then we got people with just great abilities like LTD Justin Jefferson with short elite. Now you start to see like, is he is he a top five like stats and everything i think he could play like it i have very similar thoughts to him and mike evans especially if you have mike evans on the theme team i can totally see right here if you want to say he's top five i can totally get that i'm going to put him right here just because i personally value like the yakum ups a little bit more but i definitely can see him playing on this level and this is not me saying that i think there's no argument like he he damn near might be top like he could be argued top tier for sure and right after that we get marshawn Lattimore again 98 speed six foot height 99 press a great man great great zone great acceleration too but four abilities okay this is a spot where if you run man you're gonna have a lot different opinion than me but i just don't think man coverage is good for a zone defense we'll get deep zone ko and pick artists for one ap it's not bad it's just for me i I'm, i want the mid zone on top of that i believe you could get a uh, deep route medium route for a one ap as well in a man based defense but again for me that just really hurts the card like i think he's really good don't get me wrong i just don't think he's top tier and i don't think he's better than stuff we already have i do think nico collins is a better card than him now after that we get matthew safford okay so matthew safford obviously not too mobile 82 speed has 99 throw power has great accuracies think about the card though okay his release is really 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 bad i think he has one of the worst releases in the game it just has a major hitch i believe on both sides of the field it is very bad ability wise on him can get gunslinger gift wrapped in one bucket for zero i'd recommend the gunslinger there and then can get hot route master for one ap as well so that would be set feet lead and gift wrapped on top of that for six ap which he gets a top end ability stack his release is just so bad man he offers you no mobility too i think he's probably the worst quad stack for six quarterback of the game i don't know if i'm crazy for putting him right here i mean you could say he's right here too but like that release is just so bad man i wouldn't really recommend running him like he just has a major flaw and it's that release and for our last 98 right here we do get login reward trayvon walker this is a card again great stats 96 speed 99 acceleration great physical stats off the edge good block shed power moves and uh the finesse moves are a little bit lower now here's my main issue with the card though okay so for abilities the big thing is getting edge start elite for zero ap that is really really nice don't get me wrong my question is okay defense right now if you're running like the most effective type of defense what role does he play because when i'm valuing x factor players that can instantly shed you like colossus like even versus secure pro i've seen it with my own eyes i have my own line full of secure pros can still instantly shed you but then also we get into the conversation of other roles like coverage player like he doesn't get a lurk arts or anything so like being able to drop him to a zone trayvon walker and cards like him i've had a lot of trouble like where do they fit for me and it's the straight up pass rushers right it's not like a run stopping defender either like it's like inside stuff like christian barmore i just don't know where he fits edge certainly for zero is good like he's a really good free card i don't hate him so for me i i again i'm gonna have him right here i think he's the best card in this tier too but again my main issue is i just don't really know where he fits all right and we got another card that's very similar to what i talked about with nico collins we got demarius thomas six foot three 98 speed great route running across the board the thing about the card though okay the abilities he can get mid in and mid out for zero ap like both of them which i think is good is demarius thomas a top five receiver in the game it depends if you value x factors it depends if you value discount ability i'd probably say he's a little bit better than nico collins because of that mid in and mid out combo just because you can light up on a ton of different posts and corners with that versus man coverage and i think it can give you a lot of separation in my opinion i would probably lean and say demarius thomas i would say he's a better card than nico collins just slightly right but i have very similar thoughts to both of them i think if you say uh demarius thomas is say wide receiver five you probably think nico collins is wide receiver six now if you think demarius thomas is wide receiver one you might think 
think Nico Collins is wide receiver too. I think they're right by each other. I would just slightly lean to Marius Thomas because I think he gets slightly better abilities. And now the final card we got right here is Leonard Williams with 88 speed, 99 power moves, 99 block shed, 89 finesse moves. So this is not a bad card, right? Like he can get unpredictable for zero and he can also get no outsiders for zero. So by no means do I think this is a bad card. I think Christian Barmore is a lot better. I do like his ability stack too. For me, I'm gonna put Leonard Williams in this great tier and yeah, boys, this is what the Sugar Rush promo is looking like for me. Honestly, man, I don't know. I kind of left this saying... That was it. I feel like with a, a promo like the Easter promo, it's supposed to be like really, really hype. And we got one, two, three, four, five champions. You know what I'm saying? Feels a little bit light this week. I don't know. Maybe they want everyone to go play MLB. And also I got a comment on the last time I did one of these videos talking about abilities and I shouldn't want end game abilities on everyone. Here's the thing, okay? Andrew Thomas getting this ability. What does that mean? A lot of people with the best team in the game, you know what they're gonna do? They're all gonna sell Andrew Whitworth. You know what that means? People with the lower coin sack are going to be more likely to afford Andrew Whitworth because there's going to be so many of them on the marketplace, right? And then also talking about 95s, I, I just don't understand why people wouldn't want them to get good abilities. If Deshaun Elliott got deep zone KO, if Tyson Campbell got, let's say, deep out mid zone, or say Rashawn Slater or Luke Gadecki got zero AP secure pro, why would you not want that? That just makes it a more even playing field for people that are either just starting or can't afford again there rob haven't seen is like six basically 600k to build him not everyone has 600k you know what they could get have though like 200 300k for these 95 that's my thought process on that hope y'all enjoyed the video man if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay updated with the best cards in madden now if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these cards live today i'm definitely going to use matt safford again expect a gameplay on that depending on uh, demarius thomas's price we might get him as well or we might get nico collins to for a little tryout as well but yeah boys if you guys do want to see that, I stream here on YouTube and Twitch every single day, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. To watch on the YouTube side of things, make sure to hit that noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Watch on the Twitch. Check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here because these were my best budget cards in Madden 24.